all my children, to my grandchildren, and any descendants who can hear this and know how much I love you and how much I have labored to be a good father and to pass on the blessings that were made for you and give to them, Lord, all the blessings you gave to me and help them to walk through the future with a chance to get to heaven and the everlasting glory of your company, Jesus. You went through terrible, terrible agony in your surrender to the evil people in Israel where you were beaten and brought down before everybody and you persisted in giving your life for us to show us how much you loved us and how much you cared about us to be part of your legacy to your father and cement a feeling of love between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I can give you every effort of mine, but it is the Spirit that gives you the strength to prevail under every circumstance. I know he's done a lot for you and will continue to bless you and give you strength to do whatever he wants. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I wish you would talk to people and show them how loving and how great you are. Holy Spirit, you've been so nice and for 55 years, you came to me when I was in front of an audience and taken over and spoken your heart. We need you at this time with all the disasters and trials we're being put through. I know you told me it was the end time, and that's why this is probably important. I don't know if that was you that put me in a dream where the whole Catholic Church opened their heart to every other religion and I was made aware of a beautiful ending to our time on earth when all religions and all who sacrificed to you were put into one holy Catholic and apostolic mode so that they all came together and made one beautiful 
congregation of love for you and yours and brought about what the Holy Father has indicated would be something beautiful. When all mankind came together and offered up their love for you, thank you. And if I've offended you by trying to orchestrate something because you said it was the end time and I've kind of had a, a foretelling of what was going to happen and before that happens I want to see the unification of all religions and all of society to stand by you and your twin sinners of God. Three persons, all united in their effort to bring about the grand unification of all who will love you and want you to become the answer to all of our dreams of everlasting glory forever and ever. Amen.